Hey, yes. what's going on, everybody? This is Tony 2.0, and I want to welcome all of you foul motherfuckers back to Foul Mouth Friday. Guys, we're back. I'm here with Jeff Goodman, as always. Jeff, say hello. Hello. And as a special treat, one of my favorite guests that was on this segment um, before we took our little hiatus, my good buddy, Shoddy Sim himself. That's me. Guys, we took... A small hiatus based on some internet issues that makes it very difficult to call Jeff Goodman if I don't have internet, and I apologize. But we're going to start it back up, and actually next week we're going to go a little bit different. This will be the last week that we're going to use gameplay as a background, and Jeff and I are going to try to do it live from now on. So <laughs> look forward to that. we got to figure that <laughs> stuff out. We're terrible with tech stuff. So I want to get to the questions that you guys left on the last episode. So Jeff, why don't you go ahead and start us off, buddy? All right, this one comes from Vesper Pizza. Would you Ooh, rather cut have right to into it? Okay. Yeah, <laughs> just shit right down your throat. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, we're, just, I mean, we're starting with an MVP. Geez. We're going not hard. even not even like a like a padding here too. You guys are just gonna cut right to it and be like, all right, well, all right, you know what? Let's we're go. Going in, I'm, dude. I'm I'm ready. Going in dry. All right. All right. Would you rather have to pour salt into a gun wound or squirt a pepper into your eye? Well, I'd rather do the Fuck. pepper since I so I don't have to get shot. Yeah, so the, with the shot with the gun wound, you're also shot with the pepper or with the salt. Um, now I'm just curious, I guess, what kind of pepper and where's the gunshot wound? I mean, are these two details, I really don't give it. So imagine you're Trayvon Martin, and <laughs> my my first answer, I'll go with the first one, would would have been the pepper in the eye. But yeah, that's pretty much what you said. I don't want, I don't want a gunshot wound. Yeah, I mean, like, I would rather get pepper sprayed than get shot. So I would probably rather have pepper in my eyes than have a gunshot wound with salt in it yeah I but think, i mean I still said it cause my eyes are my eyes are a little fucked up you know so i just like i don't want to go blind either you know all right yeah. well that's a good one to start us off all right then <laughs> moving on we're gonna go with uh b strat <laughs> one of one of our buddies that's been on the show before uh would you rather have to read 50 shades of gray to a kindergarten class mm -hmm. or <laughs> wake up in a bathtub full of ice missing a kidney what the hell kind of comparison is that? <laughs> I would totally rather read Fifty Shades of Get Gray oh to my. A kindergarten class. Fifty Shades of Gay. That's the Jeff Goodman version. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's a great, that's a great read. Follow up. No, I mean, if it's Fifty Shades of, of Gray, I mean, that's what I'm doing. To a, to a what class? To a kindergarten, kindergarten class? Kindergarten class. Oh, dude, I would use voices, too. Like, I would really... Yeah, that's I what would, I was thinking. I would create characters. I would get involved. <laughs> give, like, all, give all the characters. Like, I want these kids to know. I want them to, 20 years down the line, just, just you know, just be walking around, not thinking of anything. All of a sudden, that memory just pops in their head of me. <laughs> of you demonstrating what sodomy is. Yeah, I was going to say, I want to see a little kid be like, what sodomy? <laughs> Exactly, and I'm, then just calmly explain it, like, like I'm, like I'm talking to you know, any one of any one of you motherfuckers, pretty much. As long as my daughter's not in the kindergarten class, I'm going with that. I would request that oh actually. That's bullshit. Know, That's fucked up. You know why? Because it's the one-on-one -on -one session with that. Yeah. Just like, hey, she's, she's... Okay. Before this gets out of hand, go ahead, Jeff. Sorry. Go. That was All right. Another one. All right. This one comes from Mister High Five. Would you rather be gay? And have sex with a guy every day, or be straight but never have sex. I'll, I'll feel that. So, I, if it's if a you're choice gay, between you enjoy ha it. having sex and not having sex, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm just I mean, gonna if, be gay. I mean, if you're gay, you're gonna enjoy the sex. That, that's what I was actually to go with that, Jeff. Yeah, exactly. Like so, if I'm if I'm gay, that's pretty much what I'm what I'm all about. You know. Is. Yeah, so, I mean, if I'm really, gay, I like dude asses. Let, let's go for it. I'm just saying, I'm going to yeah, be the but pitcher. What it, but what the really, I guess there's a point is, would you rather never have sex or would you rather have to be with that like social stigma of being a homosexual that I think is actually kind of lifting now? What, unless you're yeah. in the stigma, is there around being gay? Well, dude, I have like, there's a lot of people that have problems with like just like seeing two gay guys kiss. I mean, I don't want to like watch you live it. Live in Pennsylvania. I mean, I'm not, like, okay, disgusted. so that, that's uh, that's obviously you know, I mean, for uh, a question for the times, pretty much. Yeah, it's it's not a big deal anymore. It, obviously, though, that we had thought about it as we discussed it, just like listen, yeah, sex is sex, and if I'm if I'm gonna like it, then I'm gonna get it. You know, yeah, like, that's that's what the next step is. So I mean, yeah, I mean, would you? That's kind of why pedophiles like to do it with kids because that's kind of what they're all about. You know. Oh my God. <laughs> 
<laughs> Justification <laughs> for pedophiles. Moving on. Back. Moving on. Go, We're moving on. I was going to go control. the bestiality route, but I, I chose to go pedophile route and stuff. This next question comes from Chris Franklin. He Is says, um, yeah, too much. <laughs> Would you bad. rather... This is a strange question. Would you rather have the voice of Morgan Freeman, but your arms get chopped off inch by inch till they're gone, or have the ability to change your voice into anything at any given time, but you lose both arms and legs? <laughs> I don't, I don't well, know what... <laughs> he, he, he thought about that question long and hard, didn't he? I would love like, to talk like Morgan Freeman, but I and I think you have to go with that, right? Because then you're only losing your arms. No, no, you're okay. You're. I'm gonna simplify this you're question. I'm out. asking you, guys, would you rather be Morgan Freeman with no arms or Michael Winslow without any arms or legs? That's pretty much what that question is. Michael Winslow is the black yeah. guy from yeah. Yeah. Police Academy who I'm, makes. I'm going. Rather just not I'm have going arms Morgan. and legs than have to get my arms chopped off. So this Either is. Way, you're gonna be a black man. Yeah, that's the worst part about it, actually. <laughs> I would, I, I think maybe you go with the getting arms and legs chopped off, but I'll be the voice of God and um, just destroy I mean, all earthly human yes. beings. Uh, that's just, uh... I will smite you! <laughs> what a tough question. Yeah, <laughs> what are you going to go with, Sim? I might go with the Morgan Freeman one. I love Morgan Freeman. I, I just because yeah. I don't know I just can't do like it'd be really cool to to be able to morph my voice into whatever the hell I want any sound effect or any could it be any other human being like or is it just sounds do you nope. think I don't just Morgan Freeman I mean it, the the other the other one like I'm able to put my voice into any is it voices too or just any sound or no in any voice you're putting way too much thought into this. I'm going yeah. well, you know, because I had because I had smoked before this, and so See, now. So I'm what? Really, so what I was thinking. Now I'm really was. thinking. <laughs> I'll go with the Morgan Freeman, the Morgan Freeman one, maybe just because I I just like having my legs. <laughs> All, All right. right, Jeff, go for it, buddy. Would you rather have paper cuts covering both arms and go swimming in a random lake, or be Kristen Stewart for a day? And she's the girl from Twilight. I previously googled. I don't think it'd be that bad to be Kristen Stewart. I mean, I wouldn't mind being emo a little bit. Yeah, I mean, like, you just have some emotional problems. You probably hate your dad a little bit, but you're making bank with these movies. Oh, you could totally get plowed by Robert Pattinson if if you're into that. No, not anymore. He is dreamy as fuck. They broke up, yo. And he glitters. Sleeping with directors who directed Snow White. Oh, yeah, that's right. Didn't she just, like, give him a hand job or something like that? No, they... they Why do girls give hand jobs? That's just like effort. Whoa, dude, do not, do not, do not knock an egg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't knock an HJ for yeah. real. I can do it myself though. Yeah, it's, uh, it's listen, still more fun to watch them. I remember my first one. I mean, and yeah, that's that's why uh, blankets were invented. You know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> moving that on. That's why. <laughs> moving on. This next question is coming. So I need Chris something Franklin to cover again. This HJ. He says, <laughs> "Would you rather have to put a bottle of the hottest hot sauce?" ever in the history of mankind in your ass and break it Ooh, or Jesus. watch some kinky porn of your choosing with a girl of your choosing but right after the porno finishes the girl gives you a paper cut on your eyes and shits in your mouth what the... why that's that, fucking dude, that, got, that got so bad so quick <laughs> i didn't read that before oh man i'm just gonna uh... go with the mouth shitting just to like i just want to experience that it's part of life. Uh, I I forgot what the first one was. Yeah, hottest hot sauce ever in a glass jar and break it in your ass. That would be really painful. Fucking hell, dude. Dude, none of those. That would literally be like Satan's asshole. I don't like any of that, but I think I'll, I'll, think, I'll think I'll put that hot sauce in my ass. Yeah. They're gonna give me some good drugs at the I'm, hospital. I'm, I think I'm going I'm gonna, with that, dude. I'm gonna put the hot sauce up in my ass. I'm just I'm letting you go. I think because it's the paper cut on my eye that that's a turn off right oh, there. Yeah, that sucks. And then and then on top of it, I'm getting shit on in my mouth. Like I'm I'm getting a I'm getting a hot you lunch. Know you know. Yeah, you know, like, dude. You can talk about sloppy seconds. <laughs> oh. My All gosh. right, Jeff. Go ahead. Fire away with the next one, buddy. All right. This is one I came up with. Who watches? Or, well, I, I got it from the interwebs. 
<laughs> would you rather kill 100 strangers or kill one person close to you? Oh, 100 strangers. Easy. I'm just going to go to a football game of a team I don't like and fucking slaughter people. Yes, I, I like how you're thinking. Just kill the fans of the... That's a tough one, man. Why? I'm not... Because, I, I, I mean, to kill one person alone is, is difficult, but then a hundred, I mean, it's not like... I feel like then there's going to be a hundred families that hate you. There's... They ain't yeah. gonna know. I don't. I don't. They're gonna know. It, I don't see it as it like like it's some sort of anonymous thing. Like I'm just flying with a plane, you know, or or you know, I see it more so that I'm probably individually shooting them, or you know, it's not like I'm not like I'm leaving like a pressure cooker in a marathon or something, you know. I mean, like I'm, I'm actually like that's how I see the question is that I'm individually shooting these people, and so that that's why it's a tough question for me. Fuck. Man. I'd make dude. I'd make it a fucking just gangland style. Get on your fucking knees. Fucking beg, beg, bitch. No, <laughs> whatever, man. <laughs> Cold blooded. That's tough. I don't know how to answer that question. That's a tough one. You can't. There, there is no no answers, man. You got to pick one. Uh, I mean, I guess the hundred people. But All then right. that one, that one person that is close to me would know that I killed a hundred people, right? Probably. That's fine. Yeah. I'll look at it. I'll look at him like I'm a straight killer. <laughs> Bro, back away. I'm a straight I, killer. I seen this motherfucker kill a hundred people. Jeff, what are you gonna go with? Um, I'm gonna have to kill the hundred people too, and it's just because like, I don't know. Imagine like the way I imagine the one the killing one person is. You have like your six closest people in front of you, and you're basically playing Russian roulette, where you're just gonna shoot one, and like you might kill that person. See, you don't choose. You're just randomly gonna kill one of the people that are one of the six people closest to you. And so I could not do that. That would be fucked up. I would but just I kill a hundred strangers. I we detach. is it's not all gonna be like the same people. I mean, there's gonna be probably an array of people in the hunter group. Maybe some kids in there too. You know, I don't mind killing like an old lady or two, but I mean, just like yeah, I'll you know. kill an old lady for a favor. Like, just ask. <laughs> <laughs> I hate old ladies. All right, moving on. Vesper Pizza again asks, "Would you rather have both next gen consoles but no thumbs, or have an amazing PC?" But only your thumbs. So you he just got a PC though. He's got Fuck stumps. You. <laughs> um, I'm gonna tell you this right now. I, I already knew that. I'm going with the PC because about forty percent of all of your hand movements are derived from your thumb, and you can do a lot more with an opposable thumb and and little thumb. I mean, you could just smash your face, your hands on the keyboard. Still have your thumbs, you know. Look, I can use my mouse with my thumb. I guess the the well, I'd have the PC. I mean, you gotta, I like playing you know, with my hands right now. Seems I don't watch. I, I don't watch porn on the consoles. You can't play the console if you don't have no thumb. Doesn't say you can't have a computer though. What? Uh, oh yeah, you're it right. Doesn't say you can't have a computer. It just says, would you rather have a computer rather to the consoles? It says computer or consoles. I go okay, with the well, computer. Yeah, I'm going PC. PC. Yeah, what are you doing, Jeff? So I like porn, so I'm gonna go with the computer. Yeah, that's, right. that's really the only reasoning I have of that. Jeff, you got yeah, one? that persuaded me. Take away my porn. Yeah, I got one more. Um, this one is also from Vesper Pizza. Would you rather have paper cuts on all ten of your finger and toes, or only eat salty foods with your hand, or and only eat salty foods with your hand, or read Twilight? I totally butchered that. I'm sorry. <laughs> them, <laughs> them fucking books are amazing, son. Dude, Dude, um, I, 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 I had to check it out just to, to see what Twilight was all about, and um, God damn it, this was dude boring. was busting my ass on the show, and he watched them shits too. And I, I only saw the first movie, and I just peeked in the book to see what it's all about because you know it's big hype, you know. I wanted to see what it's all about, and I, um, I don't, I, I thought it was fucking childish. Like, it, it's it's just more of the writing style. So I guess what I'm trying to say is the cut. <laughs> the paper cuts. Yeah. I'll just read. I'll just read the books. Whatever. I got yeah, it. It, it, it it bothered me. I actually found myself like just going to say, "Wait a second You know, like actually yelling at the book for for being wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen here, book. You don't know me. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna move on here to the last question. This one comes from Gliderman twenty four seven on Twitter. He says, "Would you rather?" Have to take an arrow to the knee, or have to put multiple sewing needles into your balls. Oh, oh my arrow god! Arrow to the knee. 
Like Albert Finch, I believe is his name. I don't know, but it doesn't sound fun. There is a serial just... killer in the 1900, uh, you know, the early on, and uh, his thing was obviously from murdering children, as you do, was to take uh, needles and uh, put them in his taint. When they got him or whatever, and they x-rayed him, they had about like uh, what, like 13 or 40 or something like that. Some like, really crazy number. Just them, just all, just in his taint. Just He would just walk around, just sit, you know, what? just... He just loved putting them up, up there. <laughs> Why do you know this? Because <laughs> it's a serial killer. You, you All guys right. Have, like, just, a just answer the question. <laughs> uh, well, but... I forgot the question. I'm talking about some old man's balls here. Would you rather take a shot to the knee from an arrow or have to stick multiple needles into your balls? Arrow to the knee. Mm, I don't know. Maybe, maybe the, you know what? The needles in the balls. I'll be different. Yep. Dude, that that arrow to your knee is gonna fuck shit up. Yeah, that's gonna hurt like a son of a bitch. But and I don't, you know, whatever. Castration is. <laughs> Man, I I've already had a kid, so I think I'll just do, do the ball thing. Yeah, it's cheaper I, than I, a fucking vasectomy. I hear you become a little more relaxed when your balls are cut off. So. Yeah. <laughs> 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 all right guys well sim i want to thank you for joining us on our comeback episode man we love having you on thanks uh, for having me it's fun fun time yeah guys thanks for uh thanks for hanging in there through through the little hiatus that we had and thank you for all the support please keep your questions coming in we'll be back next week and like i said we're gonna shoot to do start doing this live so you guys can see us as we're reading these disgusting questions because i think it'll be hilarious but uh guys until next week we'll see you soon Peace. Peace.